our last stop on our photo trip through Norway, the place of origin of Haukland. Adjust everything perfect and it has to fit. Yeah, it's been kind of a goosebumps moment. It was a cool time and the time just flew by. Three photographers on an adventurous road trip through northern Norway. Steep mountains. Rugged islands. Deep fjords. Perfect conditions for Team Hawkland. On the last day, we had an exciting challenge. One hour to take one picture. Just one photo. Just one picture. Not 10, not 20, not 15, but one picture. And I'm not allowed to delete it, to take another photo, and if it sucks, delete it again? Unfortunately not. Press it once and then it's done. Yes. And just one camera, right? Only with one camera. Sorry, Christoph. Okay, that's a long hour. Let's do it. That's crazy, because usually I take a lot of photos. And it's always a process for me too. It's not like you might imagine. You go there and then take a photo, go on, take another photo. That's not what I do. Because sometimes it's the journey, when you discover something, when you are shooting a photo and then improve it slowly, approach maybe a better composition, something changes, the light changes, you shoot again and you stay at the same location for over one hour, two hours and capture this complete change in light. And I create the photo, but that doesn't work with this photo challenge, it's just one photo. That's why you have to think carefully about when to press the button. Oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm really not sure if I should press the button right now. It's been only 15 minutes, but the water is coming. I, I have to make a decision now. I, I have to hurry. I'm, I'm almost surrounded by water already. It looks really cool though. It is extra hard for me. I love to take photos. I love to press the shutter button. And yeah, I also like to have some pictures to choose from in the end. It took some time, but that may be nice here. This line with the seaweed pointing to the mountain, I like. I'll keep that in mind and keep on looking. At first I thought about putting a few of the round boulders in the foreground or maybe the eye-like shape. The challenge is now, of course, do I photograph in landscape or portrait format? With a polarizing filter without? Normally, I work my way until I have a picture where I say, yeah, it's great, but now I only have one photo. But of course, you also have to say that from today's perspective, this challenge is much easier than it was 10 years ago. If I had to do this with my DSLR, it would have been much more difficult because you don't see the exposure in the viewfinder or at least in the live view. So cameras are much better these days. Now I can definitely imagine how it must have been in the past when you only had 24 pictures available on a film. I experienced that as a child, but nowadays that was a real challenge for me. Oh, now there's a big wave coming. I hope I'm safe here. My position is super unstable. With a challenge in mind, you are even more focused. Now I'm waiting here for the perfect wave and press the button and... Oh, I, I have to hurry now. I'll just take a picture quick and explain it to you afterwards. Filters are installed. I have a polarizing filter on, an A times ND filter and a 2.0 graduated filter to darken the sky. I hope it works. Focus is set to infinity. All that's left to do is capture the right wave and then I will press the shutter. Not an easy decision because waves can always be different. Either it works or not, I usually take several shots and can then compare which one is the best. But not this time. Really difficult. I felt like being back to Ansel Adams days. One picture only, adjust everything perfect and it has to fit. That's a bit back to the roots. Was exciting. I then decided to take a photo of two rocks. The moment has come, I now have an ND filter on, polarizing filter on, I leave the gradient filter off because risk is too high that it gets blurry, wind is so strong it might wobble around 
and then the exposure is slightly blurred. Even with an ND filter, it's already a risk. If I had several shots, I'd just shoot through and one sharp photo would be with it, but now one photo risk is too high. I had to wait until one wave was big enough and I must have been waited for five to six minutes until I finally pressed the button. So, I just did it. I pressed the button. I'm quite okay-ish satisfied, I would say. Let me try to explain what I just did. Oh, wait, I gotta hold on to the tripod here for a second. It's super unstable. I waited until the wave pulled back. And then, ah, oh, some more and more water over here. And then I took the shot because I think it's much nicer than when the waves push in from the sea. I used those egg-shaped rocks as a foreground, the mountain as a background and the long exposed wave as a nice contrast in between the rocks. Solid shot, yeah, turned out quite well, but there certainly would have been a few other highlights along the beach. I took the picture within the last 10 minutes. I got the picture, um, cool. The thing with the waves was okay, but sharpness, boy, boy, something went wrong there. I don't know exactly. Maybe it was a mistake using a graduated filter and it shaked with the wind, or it was a bit blurry. I don't know. But it's a challenge. It was fun and I took one photo. I waited for five minutes for the right moment and then pressed the shutter button. Bam! Great! Yeah, the sky could be a bit better, but all in all, I'm pretty happy with this one photo I was able to take. Now it also starts to rain, I would say perfect timing. Let's pack things up and go find the others. <laughs> Since I finished the challenge early, I was fortunately able to capture a few other motifs for myself. Especially with these structures and with the water basins, there were just so many possible motives on the beach. I could have spent the whole day over there. Like me, many people now associate Hawkland with clothes for photographers. But only a few have ever been here at the beach themselves, nor have I. It's a very impressive scenery when you approach it for the first time. You drive along the road and then the view slowly opens up in front of you. I imagine the mountain to be much, much smaller. It's huge and looks much smaller on pictures than in reality. So yeah, you definitely have to stop by and experience Hogland Beach for yourself. Something completely different to be here in autumn and not in winter, but to feel right at home. Being here again with this fantastic mountain panorama, bam, how cool, super cool. While the guys were taking a few pictures for the online shop, I took my tripod and the filters. I was pumped and took several long exposures. There was a small bay that led towards me and in the back there was Hawkland Mountain. The lines and the flowing water worked really good with the framing. I already saw the spot from the car and I knew I had to grab my tripod and get down there. I'm super lazy and I try to do a lot handheld. I even used the filters this time and the effort was worth it. Have a look. Is, right? A 
our last stop and our final destination on our photo trip through Norway. The place of origin of Haukland, the Haukland Beach, where I photographed Northern Lights for the first time. It actually feels a bit like coming home. How is it for you to be back? Mega crazy. Jetzt mal nicht im Winter. Die Berge sind nicht weiß, sondern grün. The sky clears, the sun is coming out, the wind's getting less. Check out the watercolor. That's why I love Haugland. Bam! What a great watercolor, Caribbean style. We're getting tanned here on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot my sunscreen at home. We got a super nice play of lights and shadows over here. I have now chosen the rocks in the water for my composition. Christoph mutates to a real landscape photographer. Tripod and filter were part of my standard equipment that day. I was so concentrated, I didn't even notice the tide coming in. I'm kind of unlucky with the water on the trip. The motors I'd like to shoot are constantly flooded somehow. Nevertheless, we got some really nice shots at the spot and had a great final experience. I've been here many times and have lots of nice memories of this place. Over the years it has changed a bit, a bit more touristic, still very nice. Very rough, very wild, very bitchy you could say. <laughs> sometimes the wind blows heavy, sometimes it rains massively and the next second the sky clears up and the sun is shining. That for me is 100% Haukland. Yes, cool. The end was a bit emotional, but it was a nice moment. It's completely crazy that we've already come to the end. Time flies by so quickly, unfortunately. The first days always seem endless because of the many impressions. But then it goes bum 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 and suddenly it's the last day. And yeah, you don't even know where the time went. I'm exhausted and a bit tired too. We've done a lot during the last days. But I'll shed a little tear because it was a cool time and the time just flew by. It was pretty cool and of course inspiring too. Making this trip with others was great because you could inspire each other with motives, you maybe challenge each other, to do it again maybe from another perspective, you could learn from each other techniques or equipment things. One has a laptop, the other works maybe with an other device and you could just chat and have a good time together and I think it's very, very valuable. And also it's fun to go out on your own, but it's great to go on an adventure with like-minded people. Let's go! The classic! Five minutes, great weather, fun, nice shots and yeah, then it pisses right down again and wind blows from all directions. Rains on, rains on, rains on, rains on and rain! Even if you weren't able to take pictures of Northern Lights, that would of course have been my dream scenario for this trip here at the end at Haugland Beach, where it all started with Northern Lights a few years ago and it ends now again with Northern Lights, but we had no Northern Lights on the whole trip. Even if activity was good, the sky was completely casted and we were quite happy if it hadn't rained. In the evening we started a pretty cool campaign. We posted on Instagram, hey, if you're at Lofoten, come by near Haukland in an hour. We'll meet there 
We got a few t-shirts and caps for giveaway. And yeah, let's find out who comes. Let's see if somebody comes to Hauglander Stranda. We didn't really expect anybody to come, but the world is so small and there are so many people you can reach on Instagram. There were actually people in Norway at this time of year at Lofoten, at Haugland, that followed us. Welcome to Auckland! What up, what up? The whole crew's here, welcome! Some cool dudes and a lady, we hang out, we flew around with a drone and took some completely crazy shots with that FPV. I never used that before myself. <laughs> Eigentlich hat sich der Akku schon ein bisschen aufgewärmt. Yeah, the world is small, photography connects people and that's what I want to show and celebrate with this entire project, with this entire brand that I've built for photography. Uh, it's a shame that it's over, but we had such a great time. Like an animal, we was all through the air. I'll take you with me from this place of despair. fun we are a little tired but as well very happy about all the great moments and of course the photos we were able to capture we hope you enjoyed it if so hit thumbs up and write it in the comments below what moment was your favorite we say ciao and goodbye from haugland team haugland What's special for Senya are the steep slope, steep slope. <laughs> I have to concentrate here for a moment. Who knows what will happen today? This. I could puke, man. Hast du was? Hast du Lohn auf Konto? Lohn ist schon da. Lohn ist da. I had my picture and of course, uh, of course, uh, it was an absolute roller coaster ride of the weather phenomen phenomena. Boy, not bad. Did you eat stockfish? When they serve delicious cheese in Nusfjord, then I'm completely exhausted from all the fun. Man, 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 man. <laughs> Should we do maybe a giveaway on YouTube in the comments? <laughs> no. One special moment here, and low tide is just.
Ach, du hast den Schlüssel. <lacht> This was the last episode of our epic road trip through Norway, and I hope you really enjoyed it. Currently, we are working on a new season, but this time in the USA, with American photographers who will join me on a road trip through their country. But who do you want me to ask? Who do you want to see in the next season? Where do you want us to go? Drop it in the comments below. And guess what? With the code HAWKLAND10YT you get $10 off at hawkland.us for your next US order and 10 euro off in our European store at hawkland.de. Because the rough season is on its way and we've got you covered with our 7-in-1 photography jacket, photography gloves and more. Thanks for watching and see you next time.